Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be updating my setup guide for GeForce Now running on Steam Deck that comes with Linux based Steam OS. For the unverse, GeForce Now is NVIDIA's cloud game streaming service. PC games run on NVIDIA's powerful remote servers. They are streamed to a device via the internet. Performance largely depends on our internet connection. For cloud gaming, a 5GHz band Wi-Fi channel or an Ethernet connection is recommended. I'm using the former. Now latency can be a problem while streaming games. You basically need to use the nearest server to your location. I am from India. Unfortunately, GeForce Now still does not have any servers available here. So I will be using their Thailand based server. That server is currently undergoing a beta test. First month free for everyone who registered for it. We will be getting a ping of around 110 milliseconds from India. Depending on the plan of GeForce Now that you are using, the service supports up to 4K resolution, 240 FPS, technologies like Reflex. VR, HDR. There are many advantages of using GeForce Now on Steam Deck. You will be able to run games that are incompatible with Linux. You will be able to run demanding games with higher settings and they will perform better than running these games natively on Steam Deck. Nvidia promised that they would release a native GeForce Now application for Steam Deck later this year. In the meantime, you can use the browser version of GeForce Now. I will show you the process. Just go to this website, we will give its link in the description. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. Scroll down until you find gaming handheld devices section. Now just click on get started under Steam Deck beta. Click on download here. Script will get downloaded, see. Now just open Dolphin File Explorer. Click on downloads. Here look for GeForce Now setup.zip file, there it is. Open it, double click. Extract this folder, GeForce Now underscore setup. Drag and drop it outside of this archive window like this. Close. Open the extracted folder. Just need to execute this script. GeForce Now underscore setup. Double click. Click on execute. Click on yes. The script will install Google Chrome. Browser supporting GeForce Now if it's not already installed. Adjust Google Chrome's flatpak settings to allow for gamepad use. Adding GeForce Now shortcut to Steam. Yes. Automated process, wait for the process to complete, restarting Steam. When the process is complete, you will see this prompt, just click on OK. Open Steam, go to library, GeForce Now should show up now, there it is, NVIDIA GeForce Now. Even the artwork was installed automatically. Now I will switch to SteamOS Gaming Mode. Steam Deck controller will work out of the box, you can edit the controls if you want. Access Steam input settings by tapping on the controller icon here under GeForce Now application Steam Deck controller this is the current layout edit layout I'll stick with the default controls I'll be using my 8-bit to ultimate 2C controller to play the games connected to tech via Bluetooth mode you can check its profile from here as well using the gamepad layout standard Xbox layout launch we are in just need to sign into a GeForce Now account tap on get in need to scan this QR code, it will open up this link I'm using my mobile to do it after that enter the code, tap on submit this page will open up, show providers for other regions I'll be using bro game server steam Deck detected, continue yeah that work, sign to my account can move the mouse pointer using the right trackpad show you the performance QM settings, overlay level set to 2 I'll just Disable SteamOS VSync by enabling disable frame limit and allow tearing settings. It's the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Display supports up to 60Hz refresh rate. Show you the stream settings. Tap on the hamburger icon next to games settings. From the connection section you can link your Steam, Xbox, Epic Games, Pal.net and Ubisoft accounts to GeForce Now. Gameplay server location and just select Thailand as I am using the Thailand based service mode I will just set it to custom resolution 800p frame rate 60 if you have the OLED variant of Steam Deck should be able to select 90 FPS mode in game graphics setting enable our settings will be stored on the server won't get reset upon a game restart language network connection status optional stuff first I'll be running Wuthering Waves 
This game is incompatible with Linux. Ray tracing supported. Tap on play. We'll be running the Epic Games version of the game. It's free for everyone. No waiting queue. GeForce now wants to use my microphone. Give the permissions. Let's go. Games launcher. Tap on start. Need to sign to my Kuro Games account. Just need to enter my credentials. We'll be using the SEA based server from India. In game settings, graphics quality set to quality. Screen mode full screen. I think it's 720p resolution. Frame rate 60. We sync off. High to ultra high settings. Why not? Motion blur disabled. Bloom disabled. Post processing fair is completely up to you. Don't want a blurry looking image. DLS is on. And just set it to DLA. Okay, this option is not available. I'll just set it to ultimate quality. 80% resolution scale. Forgot to enable ray tracing. I'll just set it to medium. Need to restart the game in order to apply the change. Game restarted. Just open GeForce Now's overlay by pressing the Ctrl and G keys together and there it is first session is capped at 8 hours you can see the remaining time from here I'll just enable statistics standard and just set it to compact close ray tracing setting applied ray trace reflections on current location nearby is HE village and there is a character and just float around image quality is looking so sharp clean this is amazing getting a solid 60 fps ping of around 110 milliseconds told you earlier check out the real world input delay it's manageable shouldn't be a problem someone's attacking me these things and just take out the small fries show you some combat I check out the reflection quality ray tracing on I got stuck here it's going on not observing any stuttering enemy just spam my moves those guys are helping me Switch my character. Use her special ability. It's ready. Put it on the FPS counter. Thing is down. Rock solid 60 FPS. Now I'll test the next game. We'll be running the PC Game Pass version of Doom the Dark Ages. There it is. Rig is ready. Let's go. Detected GPU RTX 3060. Outdated GPU drivers. Ignore the message. Just tap on play. Tap on play again. In game settings. Aspect ratio set to 16 is to 10. 800p resolution. Refresh rate 60. Wasting off. Present form compute setting on. Post processing effects disabled. Using the quality preset of TLSS. I select DLA native resolution DLSS frame generation setting off reflex on motion blur off set the preset to ultra texture pool size 2048 everything set to ultra estimated VRAM usage 6.3 GB apply we are in will be fighting against hordes of demons in a big open area Latency becomes easily noticeable in first person mode compared to a third person mode. 55 FPS here. Stream FPS is locked at 60, so slowdown is not caused by my internet connection. Game is actually cycling on Thailand based server, server side issues. So many demons. I parried the green attack. Use my flail. Decent performance. 
This is the game running on ultra settings after all. FPS stays within a range of 55 to 60. It's the first Doom title to be fully ray traced. Stream is very stable, everything looks very sharp. I'll try to kill this blob. Oh my god. Those barrels. Lost my life. I'll use a life sigil. Yes. Yeah, check out the power consumption. 9 watts only. This is amazing. Should be able to stream games for around 4 to 5 hours. No issues of the device. Overheating as well. Game is running on NVIDIA servers after all. Now turning natively on Steam Deck. Out of ammo. Now I'll be testing the next game. Running Clear Obscure Expedition 33, PC Game Pass version, very popular title. This game uses Unreal Engine 5 but does not suffer from traverse stutters. Signing into my Game Pass account, in game settings, running the game at native resolution DLA 800p, post processing effects disable everything set to high, current location, forgotten battlefield, enter the place. Here we are getting close to 60 fps, beautiful lighting, ping value 103 milliseconds, near your input delay. A latency can be a problem in this game while executing parries and dodges. Timing is the key, dialing aid in combat. 50 to 60 fps, features at the start of the battle, yeah fps is close to 44. Use my skills. Missed the timing there. Got it. It will take some practice to get used to the latency. Latency should not be a problem if you're using a server which is available in your own country. Oh no, I should have tossed the tag like this. Two successful dodges. Bad timing. Press the key too early. And heal my health. Very successful. That I did a lot of damage. Use rain of fire attack on this thing. Another parry. Decent experience. The game is definitely playable. I think these are CPU side limitation. 45 FPS. Oh no, need to dodge. My bad. I'll be running the next game. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, PC Game Pass version. Fully ray traced title, very heavy on the GPU. Syncing data, tap on let's go. Save files are getting downloaded to GeForce Now servers. This game is very heavy on the GPU, consumes a lot of VRAM. Resolution 800p native, 16 to 10 aspect ratio. VSync disable, FPS limit 1000. Post processing effects disable. Using the high graphics preset, I'll enable DLSS, set it to quality, DLSS same generation disable, that's it. We are in, I am in the city of Patagon, very demanding area, getting 60 to 67 FPS, check out the real world input delay, play the game from a first person perspective, 100 milliseconds ping as expected, again amazing performance. Game like Indiana Jones running at 60 FPS on Steam Deck, not natively of course. So using this service you can run games that are incompatible with Linux or games that are very heavy on Steam Deck's hardware. Expect good performance. Latency should not be a problem if you are using their regional server. In my case there is some latency because I am using the Thailand based server from India, from another country. Still it's a playable experience, look at that image quality, so sharp 
and battery consumption barely anything 10 watts so that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day